and string will become taut. And here, this string will be taut and the tension will act here. Got it now? The, about the tension. So why string will be taut? Because of M1G sin theta. Here, M1G cos theta. Normal contact. This normal contact between the block and the wedge. Here, the same normal contact you show here. Actually, I should show it here only. I should show here only the normal contact. Uh, everything will become troublesome for you. That normal contact which was acting on the wedge, I'm showing it here. Make practice like this. Okay, all of you got this idea. This N1 is this N1 is what? By the block on the wedge. What about this N1? By the wedge on the block. Uh, today I think you'll get enough from around 50 numericals are there, not one, two. You open the book. Really challenging. Huh? Today I think you you need not to take lunch and dinner. These problems will be full. If you're really good. You want to become an engineer, no? These problems are full. You really enjoy. You don't feel angry when you solve the problem. In which book, sir? Icon, Singage, Balaji Publication, Pathfinder. You pick up any book, you will have problems based on wedge constraint. You gather all around 50 numericals. Come. I'll, I'll give today. I'll, I'll dump. Okay, let, let's uh, let, let me. I, I don't have answer. This one. Uh, the weight weight of this wedge will act. M two G. The weight of this and the normal contact M two. Keep it here. So, uh, no. Tell me, like, uh, how the wedge will move? You are on the ground. Uh, this person, what he will comment is something the important thing. Right. How, Wedge will move towards right. Uh, why wedge will move towards right? Here tension. Here T cos theta is acting. No? Look at this. I'm, I'm trying to explain. Here the tension T is acting on the pulley that is acting on the wedge. Here how much will become? T cos theta. Definitely T will be more than T cos theta. So the wedge what happen will try to, because of the tension what happen, the wedge will move towards right here. Go this. Uh, then, so what this person, he will comment like this. Wedge will move. Wedge moves towards right. Now what about block? What is this block? How block will move? Along the angle and downwards. No, 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 no. Sir, it will move down along the incline and also to the right, sir. I mean, it will be, if you see from the wedge frame of reference, it will move down towards, sir. But from ground frame, it will be something different. Yeah, that, there is the problem, Alice. In the wedge moves towards right and block moves in uh, fourth quadrant. I'll, I'll, let me write like this. Fourth quadrant. Why fourth quadrant? I'm giving x, y. Is it okay now? So somewhere the block will move somewhere like this. In the direction I'm I'm showing arrow. Uh, that this one you say the block will not move. Some somewhere it will move like this. Huh? I'm not sure again. Means like exact I'm able to tell the person on the ground. He said that ah, it will move somewhere like this. That's all. You ask him exact. You calculate and tell. But, but just I can roughly estimate that it will move somewhere in this direction. Not perpendicular to incline. I, I'm making clear. It will not move like this. It will not move like this. Somewhere resultant will come in this way. How so? Uh, that is what. That's what you, you be on ground and make observation. Yes, sir. Because length of the string is constant. Yeah, that was. Uh, and, and next again, a uh, person on the wedge, person on the wedge, what will comment? Person on the wedge, what will comment? It will move downward along the Block. Sir, it will go down the incline. Slides down the incline. And it will not lose contact from the ground. So you will say N1 non-zero. I think these are the something very important in the problem. Until unless 
you don't really analyze yourself you are on the edge and the ground no no way you should enter into the problem you should not write the equation first you should have basic background okay let's do one thing uh, shall we ask person on the ground to solve this problem so what are the equations you will write the first you will write acceleration of the wedge so shall we write it a to x this is acceleration of wedge with respect to ground along x axis a2 sir what are we taking as coordinate axis sir what do you mean by coordinate axis ma i mean uh, we need to take um, xy plane xy plane, plane. plane so let the person be at origin the person on the ground let it be origin but for m2 we are taking it in a different uh, different reference frame right so we are taking it in a parallel to incline and perpendicular to incline let it be let it be I'll, 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 I'll just along x along y i am able to write it uh, for for the block we'll see what what uh, in ground frame can i do the problem or not in this one. okay these are the forces that are acting on the wedge first we'll write equation on the wedge we'll ask person to write the equations for the block and wedge then we'll see that which person will help help us a lot there is only thing no which person is going to help us a lot is what we are going to see now the person on the ground what happen you will write equation force acting on the wedge t t will act here like this tension here what happen t cos theta then this n1 and if you resolve it n1 sin theta n1 cos theta i'll i'll, I'll give us a rough diagram for the wedge force acting on the wedge tension here this is n1 no so if i resolve this what do i get n1 sin theta n1 cos theta the weight of the wedge and the normal contact into will agree all of you these are the forces that are acting on the wedge then L along x axis and tell me what is the equation of motion you can write it for the wedge it should be <coughs> t plus n1 sin theta minus t cos theta should be equal to m2 a2x along y axis if you want you can write it but the wedge will not move along y axis so i am not bothered to write equation along y axis is it okay all of you fine okay next again uh, what are the other equations we should write here after this for the for <coughs> person on the ground no what happen uh, we'll write this equation person on the ground with respect to somebody please mute it mute it person on the ground he will writing this equation person please mute it immediately please don't disturb class huh? okay now uh, what about person will ask person to write the motion of the block what is it this person will say block moves in fourth quadrant that's all he cannot write any other equation exactly you don't know direction exact direction see when you can write equations of motion when you know exact direction i i'm discussing some very important thing please don't unmute huh? please don't disturb class very important part i'm discussing huh? okay the person on the ground what pen is unable to he uh, said that uh, exact direction i don't know no so when you don't know direction can you uh, resolve in what direction the force are acting so the person what pen he said like i am helpless in this matter so we'll ask person on the wedge frame or on the in the wedge frame who was on the inclined plane we'll ask him to write equation uh, what he says the block is sliding down the incline 
now what, what is the wedge wedge is accelerating you no know? so say, shall i say wedge will become non initial frame you now i have to apply any pseudo force yes i should apply a pseudo force here the pseudo force will come like this why pseudo force because the person on the inclined plane okay that green color is what the pseudo force the tick tick arrow i'm showing it this is pseudo force now why is the pseudo force because the person on inclined plane is writing equation so let's draw the diagram on the block what are the forces that are acting this is the inclined plane this is the block m1 tension normal contact m n g cos theta then the pseudo force then m n g sin theta and how the resultant motion according to the person on the incline and I'll, i'll show that person somewhere here what what will be writing equation so if you want to give name person p person q with respect to person p here the person q will write equation now uh, what you'll see you'll see that the block is sliding down the incline so here you will write acceleration of block with respect to incline a12 you will write it this will be the What what is this A one two acceleration of block with respect to incline? It will be along the incline, no? And what what the person said the block is in contact, so therefore how 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 the wedge why wedge will move? You look at the forces T and N N one sine theta. T will be greater than T cos theta, no? Then definitely the wedge will move towards right. Simple idea. Ten newton and four newton will act. In what direction the system will move? In the direction of ten newton. T is greater than T cos theta, so it will move towards right. Oh no. Okay, now let's write the equation with respect to person Q. no along the incline what are the forces m1 g sin theta plus i to resolve this component m1 a2 cos theta minus t equal to m1 a12 what is a12 acceleration of block with respect to wedge so these are the things we are assuming acceleration of block with respect to wedge okay then perpendicular incline this is along incline no perpendicular incline or normal to incline about that person sits it say that the block will not lose contact so the net force perpendicular incline must be zero perpendicular incline so n1 Plus m one a two sine theta minus m one g cos theta should be equal to zero. Will I agree this, or any other equations you want to write it? So I, I, I what all what all I did I'll just explain here. This m one a two a component of that I'll resolve. m one g sine theta plus m one a two cos theta minus t should be equal to m one a one two. Okay, this equation. Then perpendicular to inclined n one. Plus m one a two sine theta minus m one g cos theta. Why equal to zero? <coughs> Because the person Q what he says the block is sliding down the incline, so net force along the incline should be non-zero. Perpendicular to incline must be zero. How many unknowns are there? Let's check it. How many unknowns are there? Look at here t n one a two x and a one two. Four equations, three equations, four unknown. I need one more equation. Tell me whose help I should take. I should take help of the string. So what is the basic idea? 
how change in length of string will be related to displacement of wedge how change in length of this part of string will be related will be related to displacement of block and wedge so what is the idea now how displacement of wedge and block are related to change in length of string and uh, now look at this idea if the wedge moves by 1 meter here then how much length of string here will decrease 1 meter simplest idea if the wedge moves towards right by 1 meter then how much length of string here will decrease by 1 meter so change in length of this string is what it is equal to displacement of wedge along x axis so shall i give him s i'll give name for string x2 got the idea no so similarly and uh, the change in length of the string the person he will hear no if the block slides down so the length of string will increase no so the change in length of this string what it is equal to displacement of block with respect to wedge along the incline so therefore what is the name for this part of string i should give x12 so what is the total length of the rope x2 bar plus x12 bar should be equal to l bar then a a2 bar so this will sir no, let, 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 let me let me let me finish off let me finish off then then you can come it a2 x equal to a1 to magnitude it will be a2 x equal to a1 to hmm, okay yeah why did you take x1 to sir instead uh, of why did i took x1 to to get answer ma <laughs> i didn't mean that why sir i mean uh, why uh, so, uh -huh, why okay no no so, see here here let you have to really apply the logic very clearly i am i am using word logic means A very keen observation is what you have to make it. So here, here what happened? This is about the mathematical I brought it. Uh, sir, okay, this constraint equation finally something you got relationship. Okay, let's do one thing. Let, let's use some common sense. Let, let's use some common sense. I'll, I'll I'll come out of the total diagram. I'll take you to this one. This will be. I think everyone will find difficult. Uh, there is a mother of wedge constraint problem. What I discussed, no, it is called as mother of wedge constraint. Means once a student is able to analyze this, anything block on wedge, it will be easy for him. This is the initial diagram. No, it will be like this. I'll, I'll try my level best to explain through diagram. After some time, after some time, I'll, I'll take the Red color one. After some time, where the wedge will be? The wedge will be here, no? So let's assume that one. It will be here. See, there's nothing wrong. I I I seen students drawing diagram like this also. It's good. Really, they want to become engineer. They are really you can say hard working engineers. Uh, is that okay? No, there's a displaced position of wedge. The red color will show the position. Uh, tell me, like. Uh, the string which is there, no. So I'll I'll give different colors for string. You can see now. Uh, tell me what will happen to <coughs> the color color of the string. And now now you see this. Uh, what will happen to length of the string on the incline? Earlier, what happened? The wedge was in contact at a no. The wedge was in contact at A. Will I agree this? I think uh, the, the, the only way which I'm I'm able to explain. If you are unable to understand this, I'm helpless. Huh? Beyond this, I don't have anything. I'm I'm putting burden on students now. Will I agree this? Earlier, where the wedge block was in contact on on the incline plane at A, no. After some time, it'll come in contact at B. 
like this. So what happened? What happened? The length of string on the incline. You, you tell me, like what happened? The distance between the pulley and the block had increased, no? So what happened? The length of the string had increased. Will, will I agree this? This one, the overall length of the string will remain same again. So what is the length of the string? So here, here I'll, I'll give the name A B no. So they should be C. I'll write it. So let me write this pulley as D. D dash. So is it C D A? Is it equal to C D A? Is it equal to C D dash B? It must be no the length of the rope. So same same length no. I have to I have to dot two ropes here. Eh? At at least now. Fine. Uh, shall I shall I close the problem? Is still any doubt? You can ask it. So you look at this part. C D A should be equal to C D dash B. I think I'll, I should write D only. Yeah. D is a point on a pulley. So no, no, no. I'll ask you like a uh, here. See like a still, still, sir. I'm not understanding. So you assume this. Let the length of this rope be say 10 meter. Let the length of this rope be 6 meter. The length of the rope this be nine meter. Then how much length of the rope this will be? Seven meter. Ten plus six how much? Sixteen. Nine plus seven is it okay mathematics? So tell me how much block has moved with respect to wedge along the incline? One meter. How much wedge has moved with respect to ground? One meter. So shall I say displacement of block with respect to wedge along the incline should be equal to displacement of wedge with respect to ground? Say nothing wrong in drawing diagrams like this. You are trained in schools to see the question, get answer. They're they're trying to make you a genius. Science doesn't need genius, sir. They need engineers who will really put effort to understand thing that one. I'm not blaming schools. The the education system is like that. You are trained to bring answer. You are not trained to bring the, to learn. Please do make habit of learning. You solve less problem, but do understand. Go to the core idea. Make it out. This uh, I I seen few set of students who really worked out like this. Sir. Got the idea now? So I'll I'll come back to the, all the equations. Is it fine? Okay, I think our problem <coughs> not yet solved. We, we didn't end up with the answers. No, we just only uh, how, how many unknowns and how many equations are there? How many unknowns? How many equations are there? Anybody? How many unknowns and how many equations? Four equations, four unknown. I think problem solved. No. Okay, but still our answer is what acceleration of block with respect to ground is needed. No, how actually the block is moving? I'll I'll take the vector diagram. Hmm? I'll take the vector diagram. Now th th this is the acceleration of the wedge. No. And uh, th th this is the vector diagram I'm taking. I I know I know vectors. I'm good in vectors. So th this is the acceleration of wedge, no? A to x, you right? And then acceleration of block with respect to incline, like this. And this was that angle theta. Okay, let's go back to the vector concept. What is the vector concept? It says a one two bar should be equal to a one bar minus a two bar. I am discussing. I think this x I'll take it out. Ah, it will trouble you. A two x is equal to a two. 
Let, let me write here. A one two. Can can you write uh, vector subtraction? A one. So uh, do we know a one a one two a one two bar plus a two bar is equal to a one bar? No. What is the angle between a a one two bar and a two bar? Now what is a one two bar? Acceleration of block with respect to which? And what is a two? Acceleration of which? So what is the angle between them? One eighty minus theta. So I count the vector diagram root of a two square, a one two square, two a two, a one two. What is the angle between a two, a one two bar and a two bar? One eighty cos of one eighty degrees. So what is cos of one eighty minus theta? Minus cos theta. And and according to constant equation, what do we ended up? I, I'll write it for our convenience. So therefore, what you can write? A two should be equal to a one two. Will I agree this? Acceleration the wedge along x-axis. I'll call it as a two only. No, no, uh, a two is equal to so this will be a two square, a two square, two a two minus cos theta. So a two I'll take it outside. Two into one minus cos theta. Uh, still, still, we are not very sure about the direction. No, so the acceleration of the this is even. It will make some angle alpha. This is the actual acceleration of the block. So how actually the uh, in the I'll, I'll show all the things. So final conclusion. The the final conclusion. I'm I'm just uh, let, let me conclude with the help of one more diagram. Okay. Now now let let's indicate all the things. How the how the wedge wedge will move like this. What about the block block? Will it move perpendicular to incline? No. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere like this. Huh? That's why in the ground frame we were unable to because we don't know this direction. No, this alpha. Getting the idea? So sometimes what happened in the ground frame it will be very difficult to analyze. That's why what happened? We took the wedge frame and we worked out the problem. Whatever the magnitude of a one depends on a two and cos theta, and this alpha you can find out with the help of the vector subtraction. Okay. So what all we we have started? A, any doubt? You can clarify. I'll go for next one. Uh, th this particular constant equation will you justify writing x one two and x two? I think I'll I'll take it out this a two x, so it will not help us anywhere. No. Now, any any doubt you clarify i'll give one more problem related to this okay all everywhere this will be shall shall i go for next one more question <clears throat> 